Here's a picture of me back in the day, Sergeant M. I was in 1st Battalion, 5th Marines. I, st- I was, that was in the barracks at uh, San Mateo in Camp Pendleton. But I, I was in the Marines for eight years, from 2004 to 2012. So I stayed in the barracks for a while, and I was actually a com Marine. I was a data, I was a data chief right here. And I was an 0651 data network specialist. I was also a DMS uh, administrator. But that's my background. That just so there's a picture of me in my in my uniform in my barracks room. But if you're looking for a router that will work great in your barracks room, I'm gonna help you find one. Uh, well, I usually just go to Amazon. So we're gonna go to Amazon. I'm not gonna like this is. Uh, I'm just going to show you like generally how I would search for a router. Like there's not like a specific one that I would tell you to buy, but there's general things that I would recommend that you look for. Um, I usually go to Amazon. That's where I, I've shopped on Amazon forever. You could, there's new egg, there's tiger direct. There's all kinds you could go to walmart.com or you could even go to your local store, but I usually like to buy things on Amazon. So I would come to Amazon and I would go to departments and I would go down to electronics and you can go to networking. Then from here, there's a little section called routers. They, they rearrange this page once in a while, but this is just how it looks right now. Sometimes they have, like I said, they just, they, it looks different, but basically this is generally how you do it. Click these links that I'm telling you to click on. There's a router link right here. As soon as it finishes loading. I'm actually on a really budget laptop right now, really like a $200 Asus laptop. So everything's kind of slow for me right now. But anyways, I would go to the routers link and I would go down here to wireless AC. And the reason I would do that is, well, wireless G is kind of outdated. I wouldn't buy a wireless G only router. I don't even, I don't even know if they have them. I'm not even going to look, but wireless N it was recently kind of like the latest and greatest before. And the problem with wireless N is that it uses the, it mainly uses the 2.4 gigahertz network, uh, broad, uh, uh, frequency. Um, there's also some that also use the five gigahertz frequency, but wireless AC is more powerful. It uses, uh, you, most of the AC routers have our dual band and they have, uh, two networks they provide one on the five gigahertz network or one on the five gigahertz band and one on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So they provide that network on the five gigahertz band. And that is not only does wireless AC provide a lot more channels. And basically what that means is if you have a bunch of routers in the same general area, like if you're in the barracks, probably every single room in the barracks has, a router in there so they probably have some kind of wireless router they're all over they're all around so when you use wireless n you basically have 11 channels to different differentiate differentiate yourself from the other routers and actually when your router chooses a channel there's not really 11 channels that it can choose between there's really only three because when you choose a channel it's, it's that's getting kind of technical, but basically the bandwidth of the channel uses up the other channels on either side of it. So if you use channel six, you're also using up, um, I'm using non-technical terms here, but when you choose channel six, you're also using up room and bandwidth from channel five and channel seven. So it, it like, it kind of bleeds into each other. So really when you're when you turn your router on, it's gonna see all the other routers that are on that same frequency, and then it's gonna choose a unique frequency that um, is the best one for it. That it decides it's the best one for it. So really, if you have your router, you there can really only be two other routers that it competes with. Once there's more than three routers in that location, you're you're competing for bandwidth. So that's kind of the problem with wireless N. If you have any more than three routers, like if th- there's probably a room next to you on either side of you, there's probably a room above you, below you, and diagonal up and uh, upstairs and downstairs. There's, there's probably, in a, not, not to mention across the hall, 
So there's routers all around you. So the wireless N router is not really going to be the best for you. So with wireless AC, not only is it faster, it's 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 it has higher power, so it can go, it it can produce much higher speeds at close, uh, within the close proximity of the router. So it's perfect for like a studio apartment or a one room barracks room. So as long as you have a line of sight to your router, like a, wireless AC is like you can't you can't really do better than that. Even if it's not a perfect line of sight, if you have like a uh, like a cabinet or a bed or something in between here, like that's it's not a huge deal. But I mean, as long as you're not going through walls, wireless AC is perfect for a barracks room. You you could you could get on that. Your roommate can get on there, and you have um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's like. It's a lot of channels. It's many, way more channels than you'll need probably in the barracks. So I would recommend you buying a wireless AC router. So we're going to go ahead and click AC. And then honestly, there's all this kind of technology out there. Like for example, MU, MIMO, MU, MIMO, or MU, MIMO, everyone calls it something different. Basically it's multi-user MIMO. Um, if you don't really know what it is, or maybe you've heard of it, and it's supposed it's supposed to allow like a bunch of things to connect to your router, your wireless router, and they all work really good or something, and it's really not necessary, especially since most likely if you're in the barracks, it's probably you and your roommate, Pro maybe four people max that are connecting to your router. So you really don't need that technology, and there's. Those those routers that are like three hundred, two hundred dollars, you don't need you don't need the stuff that's on those. You don't need a router that's really over a hundred dollars. I would not I would personally not spend over a hundred dollars. So I would go to fifty to a hundred dollar uh, price range over over here on the left side. So now this is showing you all the wireless AC routers that are between fifty to a hundred dollars. Now from here, what would I do? I would I like these little bestseller things. Uh, these, these ones are save ten dollars. I look for. I'll probably go to four stars and up. This is just generally how I would do it, because all the all the routers. I mean, they're basically they basically all provide the same things. So what I want is a router that's proven and has the technology that is necessary for me to use it in the barracks room. So like this one's a bestseller. Netgear R sixty seven hundred one hundred NAS. Nighthawk, that's a that is a really good router. It's it's under a hundred dollars. It's got the wireless AC. It's AC seventeen fifty. It's that is more than enough bandwidth than you'll need for you and your roommate. If if you want to if you want to have a I don't know like a LAN party or something in your room that will support. That's more than enough for a barracks room. That I just that's you don't need any other fancy stuff that the two or three hundred dollars routers provide. Um, even if you do spend more money than this, it's it's like overkill. It's like buying buying a Lamborghini to go get groceries. Like you, it may feel like you're buying something just really awesome and just killer hardcore gaming router or something like that, but you don't need it. You won't. You'll never use the features on it unless you're a little bit more advanced and maybe maybe you have like servers or something and you're you're a data marine and maybe you have special stuff in your room that you want on the router. But for the rest of us, I mean, I'm a data Marine. I was a data Marine, but for the general purpose, like that, the wireless AC and under a hundred dollars and something that has good ratings that is proven is, is what I look for. So really, really any of these routers, um, I'm not familiar with Google. I'm, I'm obviously I'm familiar with Google, but I've, I mean, I've never owned a Google router, so I don't, I don't know how that is, but see, obviously it gets good ratings, so I'd be willing to try it out. It looks cool. Um, Netgear is a really good brand. Um, the Nighthawk in particular is a really popular brand. I know that for a fact off the top of my head, just from shopping around and my, you know, just from my experience of buying routers, Netgear Nighthawks are nice and they're very popular. Um, Asus are very nice. Linksys, Linksys used to be like the go-to router back in the day. That's what I used to always get, like, like in the early two thousands. <laughs> um, but I, I personally, I'm not a fan of Linksys. I'm not saying they're bad. I mean, obviously they get 788 ratings and they have a four star rating. So obviously some people out there like them. I just personally don't. Um, 
see this one has 19 almost 20,000 ratings and it's four stars so that like personally that is i would probably choose that one but i mean there's a lot of netgear routers you see because netgear is a pretty popular brand um d-link is a good brand yeah, most of these are netgears tp link i have this router personally in my house it only has one rating here i'm not sure why there might be a different listing for it but um i have a tp link archer c7 that i use in my house it's under 100 dollars, and it's, it's it does everything that i need it to do it's, it's my brother and i in my house and it's it's a, it has, it's more capable than what we need it to do so uh based on just what we just searched for this netgear r6700 looks like it would be a winner if I was in the barracks right now and I needed a router, I would go buy that one. Um, let's see. Is there any other, anything else that jumps out here? Not really. But yeah, it's, I mean, really any of these routers, maybe you have a brand or maybe you have a friend that likes a certain brand. Like any, this is just how I would generally search. 50 to $100, four stars and up for a rating and a wireless AC because You'll be, in, you'll be in one room. You both can connect to it. It'll be super fast. You'll have a unique channel. Um, it's just that'll be a great option for a barracks room. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, great. I hope you have a great day. Oorah. And thanks for watching. Peace.